Hello and welcome today to Grace's Scrap Attic. My name is Grace and I'm going to be sharing with you today how to make um, these wonderful little one inch flowers. Just, they start off in the white cardstock and they'll turn out like this. They'll be distressed with ink, spritzed, glittered, and doodled on. Um, you can make 100 flowers in 20 minutes this way. So I just want to show you this quick technique. Okay. Basically what I'm going to start off with, and I've already started because I have so many and I want this to be a fast video for you to watch. They are on the Cricut mat. You can see the edge of it here. This is a white piece of cardstock cut um, on the Cricut in one inch flowers on multi-cut setting as well as autofill and it will automatically cut 100 for you. Okay, you're going to start off with your distressing tools and your distressing inks. I use Vintage Photo and you're just going to go down the negative space in between sorry about the shake, this is the only technique I'll be doing today that will shake my camera so you'll be going down the um, in between the flowers along the negative space on this piece of paper, this piece of cardstock. Okay, This will distress just the outer edges of the flower itself and I've, you can see I've already got most of it done and um, you can see the grid that's cut, that's forming because of it. All right, next step you're going to do is oops, next step is going to take the um, spritz. I use Ritzy Ditzy Glitz. I absolutely love it. And this one is in silver, and this one is in bronze. You want to. The best thing to do is to. Um, not shake these but to kind of roll them and then make sure that there's no sediment on the bottom before you go ahead and do anything. Alright, so um, this is oops, sorry to have my glue set up. This is what we're going to do for the whole entire thing. Basically about seven quick spritzes. So Okay. One more for that corner. Seven. Okay, you can do the same in silver. The sediment is still on the bottom of this one, so sorry it's taking so long. Okay, we're good. And same in silver. Silver, I'm really trying to back off from. I don't want very much of it, just a little glimmer, glimmer of it. Okay, next step is to take your fine point markers and you're going to doodle on the center of the flowers as you can see here, okay? Just little V's really quick. I've already done most of the rows because I want to do this fast. I'm trying to work quickly. Sometimes they wind up being a little line in each one, sometimes an N shape. V is just fine. That's what, that's the, what I aim for, but my hand moves so fast sometimes it doesn't work and that's alright because in nature, nothing's perfect. Everything's slightly different from one another, so there's no point in forcing ourselves to be perfectionists. Okay, almost done here. So what you're going to do with this is um, you're going to wind up doing this 100 little flowers on each petal, little V shapes. Okay. Again, this total total thing for this should take about um, 20 minutes. All right, you're going to take your brush. Now, I've already gotten mine a slightly damp in the water, so I don't want it soaking wet. I just want it to be pliable. Um, make sure you have water for your brushes because oops, it's not, and it's dried out slightly. Um, water for your brushes so that the glue doesn't damage them. You're going to touch three to two, two to three petals on each one, just slightly. You don't need to overdo it. You can get the edges, you can get the whole petal, doesn't matter. So you already you've distressed, doodled, and spritzed two colors of spritz on a hundred flowers. And like I said, this whole process without me shortcutting it actually takes mm, about 20 minutes, which isn't bad. They're great. These would be great little flowers to layer up in different sizes. Um, maybe make a few for some swaps or something. Or my project is quite large. You'll find it on my blog. My blog is www.graces, G-R-A-C-E-S, scrap, S-C-R-A-P, attic, A-T-T-I-C, dot com. Dot blogspot, dot com. I'm sorry. It'll be in the notes. Okay, I'm using PK Glitz. This is um, some white orchid. And basically what I do is I just dumped it on the rose that I just painted 
and then I'm going to make sure it's not on the next row. And I just noticed I didn't doodle this one, so let me get that really quick. Okay, this is where the brush comes in handy. Once you get this next row glued, um, and the glue I'm using today, also I need to make mention, is Helmar's gemstone glue. It's great because it's actually built or formulated for glass beads and um, gemstones and mirrors and stuff like that. So when it dries, it doesn't dry clouded, it dries nice and clear, which is amazing because it gives the glitter just the perf you know, the true shimmer, which is wonderful. All right, so what I'm going to do is take my little goat hair brush that I get from PK Glitz and I'm going to brush the glitter over to the next row that I just glued and off the previous two. Now I'm not going to do the whole sheet because I really want to stay under 10 minutes because I don't want to have to upload two of these. Okay, you want to clear the glitter off of the row that you need to glue. Okay, keep it on the side that you need to be at. I've got a couple more minutes here. Stay within my 10 for YouTube. Okay, so quickly, and I'm, my brush, if you notice, the bristles on my brush are about the same size as one of the petals. Don't do this with a larger brush, okay? It'll get, your glue will get everywhere. You wanna do it with a smaller brush or a brush with the equivalent size, bristle size, to one of the actual petals, all right? So you're just going to continue this process, clear across the page, and notice how the glitter is sticking on certain petals and not on others, and that is perfectly fine. That's what you want. Um, you don't want every one of them to be glittered. Maybe you do, and if you do, then just take the time to make sure you get glue all over your flowers, okay? All right, clear off the next row that you want to do, and you're going to continue this process throughout the entire page. I can see a big show. Hey, you got more light. Okay, so continue it all the way across the page. Brush the glitter off of your desk space onto a piece of paper or coffee filter and put it back in your container, all right? So then your glitter is going to be complete at that point. And I want to show you, when you take it off the Cricut mat, you want to take it off the mat so that the glitter side is facing the bottom of, or the top of your desk. That way if any glitter falls off it, gravity will pull it to the desktop instead of onto your mat. Once glitter gets on your mat, it's like dumping it in the dirt. It's not gonna be sticky. So you, um, you really need to do your best to make sure that glitter is completely cleared off and then turn your mat upside down and peel downwards, down, get the paper off of it. The little pieces of glue that you've put on will help keep the flowers on the actual cardstock instead of on your mat. So I wanted to show you, this is an entire page that I've removed. A couple of them have fallen out, and that's just fine as you go through. But this will keep the glue, the glitter off your mat. Then what you do is just go through and kind of pop them out. So then you're going to wind up with your little flowers. And aren't they just so adorable? I love it. Um, you have a couple options here after this to curl these or not to curl them or what you can do for the centers. You can do a lot of things. Um, one I'm going to do, and I quite, haven't quite decided, I think I'm going to wind up getting, oops, and see that one broke. And that's just fine because in nature there are imperfections. So we're going to still save those pieces, even though I just dropped it, I'll pick it up later. And still use those four petal flowers and stuff like that. Okay, I'll make the leaves the exact same way out of some light green paper and do some spritzing. I probably won't glitter it though. I want these flowers to really stand out so they'll wind up with a little bit of shimmer on the leaves, but not much. And the project I'm creating from the from these, I have about, this is my five, fifth set of these, so 500 flowers. I'm hoping that's enough. My husband cut off some branches off of a tree in the front and I'm going to make a tree, a blossoming tree for my scrap room and I'm going to hang um, my cards out off of it so that I can display my cards that way I'm going to call it the carrying tree I just thought that was kind of sweet anyways again you can find me at Grace's Scrap Attic G-R-A-C-E-S-C-R-A-P-A-T-T-I-C dot blogspot dot com and all the, all the supplies will be listed below on this YouTube tutorial thank you much for, for visiting and have a wonderful day